Hi, my name is Alicia Comiskey. I am the lead singer for Hearts on Fire, contemporary Christian group uh, from Round Festus, Missouri. Um, I started singing in music um, when I was very young. I became a Christian when I was about nine years old, and my dad had a music background, and so we lived about 20 minutes from church, and every Sunday, or anytime we went to church, which at that time we went three times a week, we'd make that trip, and we would always sing in the car with my family, my mom, my dad, and my brother. And so it wasn't too long until we started singing in church a cappella. I guess I was about 10 years old then. And I found out really fast that I had this love for music and that my dad did. And grew up singing I'll Fly Away, a lot of Southern gospel music. Um, it wasn't too long till my mom decided she didn't want to sing anymore. And it kind of progressed into me singing in the choir. And I started singing solos. And started out singing a cappella and then um, kind of just more choir music. And then um, the more I sang through my teenage years and that, I just really loved gospel music and mostly church music. But as I got a little older, I was introduced to contemporary music. And, you know, growing up in, the, in high school, I still liked the rock stuff. But at that time, we didn't know about contemporary Christian music. It was all the regular rock music. So when I was introduced to contemporary, more rock music in, in, with Christian lyrics, it was uh, pretty awesome because I really liked the beat. and and always being a little bit, you know, moving to the music was really fun for me. So um, I always was involved in church programs, cantatas, you know, sang with uh, groups, women's quartets or trios, whatever was needed for a cantata, solos and just uh, sang at banquets and then it wasn't too long though I was singing in weddings and doing funerals and it just seemed like people were calling me for different things and just always loved music. and. Really, choir music was, you know, the main thing at church. And then I was in the choir at school, too. So just really loved music and just always felt like um, the music moved me as, you know, God had just really blessed my life. And in, uh, when I got into about my 30s, um, I um, had a tra had tragedy in my life that really um, hit me hard. And I... Uh, to get emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and I just didn't know what God had in store for me, but I knew that He was going to use me somehow. And um, it took a while. I kind of, I still went to church and I still was very faithful. And I knew God was going to take care of me, but just didn't know how He was going to use me musically because it was very difficult for me to sing sometimes. So I continued to be in the church choir and I still did what I was supposed to do. It, Still looking for that door that God was going to use me, and so one day I met uh, Pat, and uh, Pat was introduced in, in music also, and it was really cool because right away Pat and I knew that God had brought us together, and we um, we just we just sang, you know, with his guitar playing, and and he took songs that I knew and learned the guitar music, and it was just a real blessing, and we just. We just really felt God leading us to do something bigger and to do something as a, in a ministry that we could speak to people. And both of us had experienced things in our lives that we, we thought would be helpful to other people if we were able to share them somehow. So um, we both were playing in a praise, I was singing in the praise team and he was playing music in the praise team at, our, at a church. And, and we just felt like God was leading us to do something uh, separate. So we dropped out of that. and. And Pat knew Terrain would be uh, very, very uh, excited, he thought, about playing with us because he and Terrain had done things together before. And so he asked Terrain, and Terrain, uh, you know, he, he was a little uh, apprehensive at first, but I think that once he realized what our heart was, that he, um, he joined right in. And he's been a great inspiration and a, and a motivator for all of us because he comes, the Lord just blesses him with some really great songs and lyrics. and. Um, Pat started writing lyrics too and he always wants me to help him but I'm not really good at writing a lot but I kind of help him tweak them after he kind of gets the main idea down so we write songs together somewhat or he says I'm writing I don't know how much I'm writing but um, we really enjoy it and, and, and really feel blessed and just moved by the words that God gives us for these songs and there's just something about writing a, a, a song where you're praising the Lord and what it what you do you know what it does to you and in your heart and
So then we were still looking for more players and we had another brother-in-law that played guitar and he actually immediately wanted to join in with us. He was already playing in a church also and had done Christian music so we recruited him and he was all for it too and we still needed a keyboard player and Amy was my boss at the time actually at work and and she had played piano at our wedding and so we knew she was a very talented uh, piano player and and a vocalist and so I approached Amy and I really didn't think Amy would be receptive but the Lord had been working on her tremendously and she was just just totally blown away that I asked her because the Lord had been speaking to her and uh, so she accepted right away and she was a little apprehensive and we had this little toy keyboard for her to play at first and so it was kind of funny because we would laugh because she would tell us she didn't have enough keys on the keyboard she had but so eventually Amy bought a bigger keyboard and, and she has just really blossomed and has gotten way more creative and not so restricted in what she did so this has kind of developed in the hearts on fire and then Dan our guitar player at the time had to back down and so just so happened, and it's so funny how the Lord provides, but it just so happened Amy had started dating Mark, and Mark was a, has been a guitar player but hadn't played in a while, and so we kind of recruited him to fill in one time, and uh, he didn't ever leave us after that. <laughs> we kind of recruited him after that too, so um, he's got great class and really a great guitar player and a great guy too. So all together, I think we just kind of make up a good team, and and uh, we really uh, enjoy you know, ministering to people and um, playing the music and we have a lot of fun at practice and you know it doesn't matter to us how how many people are there. We had a, a thing recently where there wasn't very many people but they were so enthusiastic and we have a great time praising the Lord no matter where we are. We do a lot of benefits um, for the Jefferson County Rescue Mission locally. Um, we sing in churches and do praise and worship and we do, we did a youth thing recently so we just kind of do whatever the Lord leads us to do and what people ask us to do and that's kind of what we're about. We just want to go spread the word and and to do what the, we feel like God's leading us to do. Um, I guess that's pretty much it in a nutshell, but I hope people will come out and hear us and and um, and, and buy our CD because we really do. We, we, it was all put in with our hearts and we really... Uh, feel like the Lord is going to bless through it because those songs just really mean a lot to us and we hope they mean something to other people too.